first off, I suppose it's been an interesting couple of weeks for the club. What was your reaction to John Coffin's departure and then John Cotter's arrival as the Yeah, obviously, look, it's a, a poor set of results, you know, to set the thing going and it's disappointing, you know, everything John's done for the club was, was massive, you know, and I had huge respect for him. He brought me down here uh, when I was 19, you know, and gave me a chance and, and I couldn't thank the man enough, you know, and uh, obviously, unfortunately, the results weren't going our way and and the club felt that something needed to change and, and look, these things happen, it's football's a business at the end of the day and, and uh, ever since Cots and has come in, you know, we've put our head down, people have points to prove, you know, and and the performances have gone up a little bit, which is which is good, you know, we've got two badly needed wins and, and hopefully we can kick on again. Yeah, I suppose the best way for morale to improve is to get wins and you've done that since Cots have Yeah, 100%. Uh, look... When you're winning games, everything is good. You know what I mean. Uh, when you're losing games, you find every little crack that's in the place. But um, look, the lads are the lads are just focusing on on trying to win the next game. You know, whichever game is next is is the most important for us. And it's Dundalk on Friday, which is the biggest game of the season so far. Some of the football you played last Friday was excellent, particularly the second goal and the cross you put in. Yeah, look, uh, you know we have it in us. We're a, we're a good we're a good footballing team. You know, and um, obviously look. People have opinions of the way we want to play, you know, and uh, but we just have to back back ourselves on the pitch, you know, have a bit more belief in ourselves and and do it on the pitch. And uh, the second goal was a good goal, but you know, we we showed signs against UCD of getting the ball down and keeping it. I still think there's a lot more in us, but uh, yeah, you know, the only way is upward, hopefully. For yourself, you've kind of been in and out of the team. Has been kind of a frustrating season for you. Yeah, look, um, obviously I came back and I uh, wanted to play centre mid and. And then I got put in left back for a few games and uh, out of the team then. But, you know, hopefully now I can get a, a run of games and I feel like my fitness is getting back to where it was and, and hopefully I can chip in with a few goals and a few assists and, and that's what I'm looking to do. Kevin, how difficult is it to build your fitness up, you know, when you haven't been playing that much and then you kind of go straight into the start of a, a season like that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's different. Like, you know, you can do all the running you want outside games, you know, but once it comes to a game, there's not like match fitness, you know what I mean? And... Uh, yeah, obviously it's tough, you know, to keep your head and, and to keep going, but that's that's the main part of it, you know, you have to keep your head and keep working hard and hopefully your chance will come and once it came, then it's just up to you to take it. And is it difficult when you're switching positions, you know, and you are in and out of the team, is it hard to build up a rhythm? Uh, look, I'll play wherever I'm put, that's, that's, I don't mind, you know, I'll play left, left mid, left back, centre mid, anywhere you put me I'll play, but, uh, you know, obviously I wanted to come back and play centre mid and, and Cots has obviously given me... Uh, the chances lately and uh, yeah hopefully I'm uh, rewarding them with a few good performances and Dundalk Friday obviously like, is there a bit of a point to prove given how the, the two games or the season went yeah 100% you know obviously they came down to turn across in the President's Cup and, and them games can go either way you know they're a, they're a curtain raiser more than anything and uh, lads still trying to get their fitness but you know <laughs> we didn't want to you still don't want to lose to them you know you don't want to give them an inch in the season and um, you know I thought we'd done very well in the second half that game but obviously we were 2-0 down at half time we just couldn't claw the second one back but yeah up there we were a bit disappointed you know we, we I thought we defended very well they got obviously got a, got, a, got, a, got the goal and you know we, we didn't really create too much to, to get it back but you know bring them down Turner's Cross now on Friday hopefully it'll be a great crowd there you know come out and support the lads and um, yeah hopefully we can turn them over and is there a noticeable kind of in improvement in mood like since you got the, the wins against um, both New City yeah I think uh, look uh, relief more than anything yeah I think that, I think it was a bit more relief you know the lads know we know the quality that's in the dressing room you know and, and it wasn't good enough from us ourselves you know the the run we went on you know it, it wasn't good enough and uh, we had to get ourselves out of it and I think you know we we got back to what we done best which was always defend well make sure we were hard to break down and we done that against Bose and we got a good goal. I thought Conor Mack took his goal very well, and obviously we seen it out from there. I don't think they really created too much. They had one chance that flashed across the goal, but other than that, you know, we we look solid. And uh, free kicks from thirty yards and in. Have you a monopoly in those now? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I suppose so. You know, uh, to be fair, the one against Van Harps it was Griff. Griff goes, Kev, you take that." So I was like, oh, "No, right, I'll take it." So, so yeah, no. Uh, obviously, I feel as if if there's the one in the shooting range, you know, and I think I have a chance. Obviously, I'll be. Definitely lined up the deck, yeah. Obviously, Kevin, you've enjoyed great battles with Dundalk down the years when you were going toe to toe, but things have obviously changed where you are on the table and so on. But um, you know, your poor record against them, beach in the last three, one win in, in, in the, the last six, I think it is against them, seven. How important is it to get something positive? You know, the big crowd both are there and the back to get on partners to bring a positive performance now on Friday. Yeah, I think I think that's it. You know, I think um, 
obviously look over the years the Dundalk Cork rivalry has been massive you know and uh, we've went toe to toe with him you know we've we're probably the only team in the country who's pushed them as far as we could push. We know we've made them better, they've made us better. That's the way it was over the years. And obviously lately they're they've they've kicked on a little bit, you know, they're starting to find form again this year and, and unfortunately we went the the other way, but you know, we're starting to find a bit of form now ourselves, we're starting to play a bit better and hopefully Friday, you know, we can put in a good performance and give the crowd something to cheer about because, you know, they deserve it, they've stuck with us and, and we need to give them something to shout about as well and I think I've no doubt in my mind that we can we can turn them over on Friday and hopefully obviously the lads in the dressing room have no doubt either you know it's just up to the, us to do it on Friday yeah what's key do you think Kevin like what areas can you hurt them in I think you know I think um, a lot of people show them a lot of respect you know and, and some teams I think the fear of it going into games is that they're already beaten before they walk out onto the pitch you know and you can't look at any game that way you have to take every game as it comes and, and enjoy, the, enjoy the games you know what I mean like and I think against UCD we created probably more chances in that game than we had in the previous eight or nine and it showed the lads were a bit more fluid in their movement and we were getting back to I, I thought Carl Shepard was brilliant I thought he was back to his best the other day and, and uh, yeah it's just look um, we just can't, we, we don't have any fear of him we never had any fear of him and we can't afford to have any fear of him on Friday yeah so most defensively as well the confidence was there you know with the clean sheet you got but this will be a bit different test though, like they're, they're yeah. probably scoring more than anyone, that, know, especially the form at the moment, getting back to the top. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Look, uh, balls play. I thought balls play brilliant against us, you know, but they kept the ball in front of us, and we were more than happy to let them do it. And obviously, Dundalk will be a bit more, not direct, but a bit more. They'll they'll come at you a bit more and try to create a few more chances. Obviously, with Hoban up top, and you've the likes of Duffy, McElhenney, Kelly all coming off. You know, it's a, it's it's a good squad, you know, and they're going to create chances. It's just a matter of us limiting them to as much as we can and then creating our own and when we create them we have to take them where, where do you enjoy most playing to have myself uh, for me choice? look as I said I'll play anywhere you know obviously I was a centre mid growing up so I've, I've probably you know I got used to left back over a few years so it takes a bit of time to, to adjust back into centre mid but I feel like I can contribute a bit more from there I want to obviously create goals score goals you know and get into the box as much as I can but you know you have to do the other side of it as well from centre mid so are you enjoying it as hungry as ever, Kevin? Always, always. And that'll, that'll never change, you know. And I think that, that showed against the uh, Bows, you know, the relief in all the lads, the celebrations, you know, you're, you're third from bottom and it felt like we won the league, you know what I mean? That, that's the celebration you got because we won a game. And I think everybody in there, same as myself, we're as hungry as ever, you know. We want to win. We want to do as well as we can for this club and, and that's the main thing. Kevin, okay, we're a recovery underway, but the two results so far. Where do, where do you think the team is capable of finishing up on? Like. As high as we can. Look, we have we we can't we can't set any anything. You know, we don't want to say oh we want to finish third, we want to finish fourth. You know, we have to finish as high as we can. You know, we have to guarantee. Personally, I think you know we can if we can easily get back into Europe if we keep performing. You know what I mean? And and we 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 have a squad in there that's well good enough to do it. You know, so um, look, we're not going to set any anything. We want to finish. Sixth, fifth, fourth. Now we're we're just going to try finish as high as we can and win as many games as we can come the end of the season. Yeah, 